Hey Taurus, this one's for you. Welcome. This is Terra Illumination with your August 2017 general. And that's you, Taurus, Mark 1. Okay? So, you know the drill. Read for your sun, moon, and rising. Mush it all together. See what you come up with. Now, if you just got here, uh, then I'll just kind of go over it for you. Uh, we are heading into these eclipses. Okay, let's just say it. And eclipses are going to be strong. Okay, it's all to do with the Leo North Node and our evolutionary journey. And the eclipses are kind of like a trigger event. You're going to feel it one way or another. There's no way out of it. And so the, the thing is to gracefully move through the eclipses and allow them to happen and treat it as a gift from heaven. So um, the theme has been through all the readings is that it's all about refurbishment. Uh, not only do we have all these eclipses, but we've got Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto retrograde. That's a lot of heavy retrogrades, okay? But they're very big, heavy ones out there, big wave energy. So you might not feel it day to day like the Mercury retrograde that is coming as well in August. So... <laughs> That's a lot of hurry up and wait, people. And, oh gosh, rewind, 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 review, 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 repair, 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 reboot, 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 refurbish. I like the word refurbish. I don't know how it came up. It just came up in one of the very earliest readings, and we just kept rolling with it because it just changed everything. And so we've been going along with this idea that it's kind of like, there's Taurus Mark One, okay? And you're coming into August, and you've just come out of a Leo new moon right at the end of August. So you're already getting kind of like a heads up, <clears throat> excuse me, Taurus Mark 1, uh, we're heading into these eclipses now. And it's all about Leo energy, okay? So that's going to uh, touch you on the uh, fourth house, I think that is, home, foundation, security, stability, um, sec uh, like the feelings, nurture and caring, caring about yourself. It's really, really important part of the chart. It's the foundation of you. And of course, with the eclipses over there, uh, up in the in your 10th house, uh, with the Aquarius full moon early August, that's all about you out of the house uh, in the big wide world. You know, like your career, your place in the world, your your gift to the world, your mission, your purpose out there to um, bring order to the planet. So that's very different energy, and it's also on the angles, okay? So you're going to feel it, Taurus. It's also, um, let's just say it, in a hard square, astrologically. So your chances are you're going to really notice this eclipse season. And it has a long, long trajectory, a ripple effect. So yeah, sure, we're reading for August right now, uh, but it's going to have a ripple effect way into... Uh, September, October, and November, okay? So we said all that out of the way. I got it all up front before we even started reading because a lot of the times I've been doing it through the reading, but we're going straight into the reading now, okay? Because we said all that stuff up front. So I'm um, sorry if I was babbling there. Here we go. All right, Taurus, hang in. We're going to be fine, okay? Terra Illumination's got your back. All right. Here's the... Uh, general vibe for you at the core okay here's where you're coming from from that leo new moon here's where you are with the ever present now living through this experience and this is you actually moving into it like going into this conveyor belt thing and then loading into this big box this black box which is like the inside of a one of those crazy car washes and then you come out the other side totally refurbished as the new taurus mark ii and this is how you get through it, smart way, the wise way, so it doesn't become such a bumpy ride. And this is what comes at you, uh, whether you are prepared or not. And this is what you hope for and what you might be scared of. And this is where it all might be leading. We'll just see. It's a journey. Can you see how we're trying to do this as a heart? I hope you can see that. Please have a good imagination. You see that shape there? Try to read this as heart energy, okay? Heart energy reading for you, Taurus. 
rather than like a technical exercise about, oh, this is going to happen, then that, then that, then that, then that, according to, you know, the blah, blah, blah card. No, it's about the energy. It's about the feel. Okay. So we're going to figure it out as we go along. Underneath, we have the weather. This is the supporting weather for you. So this is very harmonious for you, Taurus. This is a grand opportunity to literally, this is almost like the perfect card, perfect card for you right now. This is a process of you might actually be very aware that you're heading into this. And maybe it's about time. I, I'm long overdue for a refurbishment. And I'm aware that I have planted seeds long, long ago that have led me, Taurus Mark I, to be who I am the way I am right now. And in, in close evaluation, there are things that are obviously of high value, but there are, are things also that might, uh, you know, be like weeding. We might need some weeding done. Like this is a very responsible energy here, taking a very clear, methodical, non-judgmental look at the situation. And the reality check is very wholesome and good for you, Taurus. So I'm really glad you've got this little card here, the Seven of Pentacles. It's very very appropriate. <clears throat> You're in the right place at the right time for the right reason with the right people. Let's put it that way. All of it, like a Shakespearean play, you know, all the shadows and the apparent enemies and all the good people and the way it all unfolds, um, just like a, a story. So what's the general vibe? See, it's going to be exactly how it's supposed to be. Justice will be served. Nothing more and nothing less. Exactly what is supposed to happen is what is going to happen. And it's no point in you taking this personally. Like if the refurbishment process going through that scary black box is very shaky and traumatic for you, then that's typically what would be expected if, um, if there have been a lot of, um, let's say, weeds growing in the garden that needed to be trimmed. And that's how it is. That's part of the refurbishment process. So in the refurbishment, what's going to happen is everything that is redundant and obsolete and no longer functional or working for you in a way that's supremely optimal and healthy for you is going to be either gently or abruptly or however it happens, eclipsed out of your life one way or another. Uh, and it could take a while because the eclipses tend to you know, they take a while for all that energy to pan out. We're looking at at least a one and a half year cycle. And the last time this happened was almost 20 years ago. So it's a big, big shift. And it's about you coming out the other side as Taurus Mark II, the sparkleized, shiny new version of Taurus, full of creative self-expression, full of light and full of love and full of heart energy, just exactly the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So... Um, you might, because this is a major arcana card, you might feel as though this is like happening in a way that feels very fated for you. And that's fine. Um, it's okay. It's just, there's a lot of surrender that needs to happen here when we go through these eclipses. And that's for all of us, tarot illumination included. It's for everybody. Uh, because it's all about the energy of evolution. Uh, and for all of us, moving from Mark 1 to Mark 2 which means the shedding and the eclipsing of the old and in with the new, all the new upgrades, all the new softwares, all the new attitudes, perceptions, and beliefs and understandings, relationships, locations, activities, pursuits, missions, dreams. So what are you coming in with? Oh, there's a strong sense of moving on. Okay. So you might be very aware deep at your core. Um, like let's, let's say you're, perception, your perception is very, very aware of what's happening right now. Um, and that's, it's very, very acute perception. So you might have your antenna very, very well tuned at the moment, Taurus, in such a way that you're already aware that you've been heading towards this for some time. Okay. And it might feel like inside of you as a person, because we are emotional beings, that uh, you've been living with a lot of turbulence and um, maybe like unhealthy or un, uh, no uh, situations that feel no longer appropriate for you. And you're becoming aware of it at the intellectual level, at the level of understanding of the level of consciousness where 
okay, this is how it is, and this is how it has to be. There's no way out of it. We've got to move on. We're going to move on inevitably, and it's going to be to a whole new uh, place of peace that might look like it's far away right now, but it is there, and it is attainable, and it is a journey. So I'm very happy for you, Taurus, that you understand that this is a journey. It's not just a flipping of a switch. Yes, in the other readings, by the way, don't forget to read for your sun and moon and rising. If you're reading for the other ones, the analogy is the same for everybody. It's like we're going into this black box. It's like those car wash, those big car washes with the flappy plastic doors at each end. You're in the conveyor belt coming out of the Leo new moon at the end of July, going through the eclipses and coming out on the Leo new moon eclipse right at the end of August, heading into September, October, November, and December, where all of this refurbishment actually starts to feel as though it's happening and it's in place. But right now in August, we're going through the actual refurbishment process, the eclipses themselves, okay? So you might already be aware, like if you're being really honest and truthful with yourself, because these are all about your thoughts, perceptions, beliefs, and understandings that are good and wholesome, that you are carrying forward with you into your destiny, your new future that lies ahead. And you're bringing all the good stuff with you and you're leaving anything and everything that's obsolete behind you. And it is a journey. It's an unfolding journey. And that's good. So uh, at least it won't come as a shock to you as you go through these eclipses in August. All right. So what about the present moment? Hope. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so happy for you, Taurus. This is like a deep, absolute, profound knowing that everything is exactly as it should be. And it couldn't be any other way because just that's how the laws of nature work. And with the star card right here in your present, it's an indication that you already know that you are divinely blessed. You are completely and utterly divinely protected in this very, very important cycle here in the middle of 2017. It's, it's a big deal for everybody. And that, has, that point has been emphasized in all, all the signs, okay, for August. So it's not just you, Taurus. And it's, the beautiful thing about the star is that not only is this the energy of hope and deep knowing and deep understanding that all is good and all will be, even as you go through the black box where there might be a lot of, you know, shaking and turbulence as all the refurbishment happens, you know, like when they start pulling out all the obsolete, redundant perceptions, people, relationships, situations, locations, attitudes, jobs, behaviors that are obsolete, infected, virally uh, corrupted, and broken, that can be traumatic, okay? Let's just be honest about it. But the good thing is that it makes room for all the cool new downloads, all the beautiful new stuff to happen. And so deep down, it's almost like you're in a very, very sweet state of surrender and serenity, knowing that no matter what happens and how it happens, everything is exactly as it should be. And you already know that you're going to come out the other side as Taurus Mark II in the most beautiful way, according to the will of heaven. And you will be able to conduct yourself as a living example of transformation and evolution uh, no matter what. A lot of people are scared of this, but it's almost like you have gone through this very graceful uh, decision to understand and accept that you are all of this. This surrounding weather conditions, your environment, your literally your waking life, is exactly a reflection of what's going on. You have all this wealth, all these values, all these treasures that you're going to bring forward with you. And at the same time, whatever needs weeding and leaving out and removing is going to be left out and removed. And that's okay. It isn't just like a perfect garden where everything just sprouts up perfectly just because you planted a seed. No. Uh, gardening and evolution needs a lot of care and attention on a, on a regular basis so that uh, it's not uh, basically... Uh, so that it's blooming to its, to its maximum potential. Let's put it that way. 
Now, moving forward, as you, let's say, gracefully move through those curtains on the conveyor belt and you're just Mark one, and you go through and you're now heading inside the black box. Cool. It's almost like it's an amazing thing that I've even got this far, people. I am Taurus Mark I, and sometimes I can be very stubborn. I like how things are. I like loyalty. I like dedication. I like stability, and I like security. And I like, I like the things that count in life that are real and that count. And if I'm honest with myself, the reason I'm carrying this card of hope and aspiration and knowledge and awareness that everything's going to be okay uh, is because part of me is honest as a human being that I might be a little scared. In other words, going back to the reflection of the day-to-day -day here, the surrounding weather is being, let's say, you're very in tune with the weather. The honesty appraisal is that um, yeah, you do need refurbishment, okay? So, but you're doing it in a very graceful way, which is actually good. This is a card of victory. It's almost like you could be applauded and appreciated by others, like, God, I wish we could go through this so gracefully as you're going through this, Taurus. Um, we're happy for you. We're all watching you, and we're here for you, and we celebrate you. We appreciate you. We value you, Taurus. We think you're awesome. And we know you're going to come out the other side okay. We love you as you are, Taurus Mark I. And we know you've been very diligent and dedicated for so many years being the Taurus Mark I. But we're all here too in the same boat. And we're just saying we love you as you are. But don't worry, we're going to love you even more when you come out the other side as Taurus Mark II. So it's almost like there you are getting ready to go in the black box and everyone else, every other star sign is out there going like, yeah, well done, Taurus. You can do it. You can handle it. We're here for you. Don't worry. We're outside. We're going through ours ourselves, but right now we're on a break and we're just, you know, doing a big group hug, gathering all around you saying, bravo, Taurus. You can handle it. You can do it. All right. Cheers. Well done. So it doesn't stop you being scared of being uh, going through the refurbishment and the eclipses, but it does encourage you, okay? So that can make you feel good to understand that you are highly appreciated and highly valued and very, very much respected, okay? So how do you go through this gracefully? Okay, so it, be, it, what, what it with the devil card here, it can be an admission that you may have deep, deep, deep attachments to Taurus Mark I. Okay, the Taurus that you know, and that doesn't surprise anybody at all because Taurus, you tend to be a very fixed sign. You like things the way they are, and kind of like some of the other fixed signs, why mess with it? You know, things are the way they are. And Taurus, can you can be extremely stubborn, extremely resistant to change, and that's okay. And that could be uh, very, very strongly exposed as you go through the refurbishment process where the refurbishers like all the archangels and the guardian angels and the tech tech whizzes and all the planets with their energy of the retrogrades they're all doing what they have to do but what they might be noticing is that you dear Taurus are displaying more of like your shadow side the truth side of Taurus where as wonderful as this energy may be coming into the refurbishment, the reality is it's like going to the dentist for you. And when they actually get you into the black box and they have to start pulling out all these redundant, obsolete systems, patterns, programs, behaviors, people, locations to leave you with the good stuff that works and just the way it's supposed to be, according to the will of heaven, so to speak, the reality is it could be feeling like you're pulling teeth because you might be so deeply attached and uh, fixed in your version of being Taurus Mark I already. Even though you know you have to evolve, the reality is it could be that you're deeply, so deeply bonded to um, your current existence that the refurbishment could feel a little bit uh, like pulling teeth. like. It's the last thing you ever want to do. So the way 
to get through this comfortably is understand that that's what's happening and then let go okay allow the process to occur and almost like celebrate it almost like you know what people like when you go to the dentist and you come all nervous and you say ha, oh it's gonna be fine oh hello dentist i hate going here i hate being here uh i have this tooth and i have all these dental things that need um care and um, i'm just sort of a little bit nervous ha ha ha, ha. i'm trying to tell jokes uh, and laugh it all off uh, before we actually have to do this. And by the way, I don't really want to do it. Do you mind? I think I'm just going to leave the office right now. Okay, but the reality is that the way to get through this is if you have to like joke with yourself and say, you know what, let's treat this as a crazy, weird experience. And dear dentist, just do what you have to do. Rip it all out. Do what has to be done. And then we're going to move on and evolve, okay? And just accept that, Doris, it might be a little awkward. The process of, um, the awkward part of the refurbishment might be, um, like we said, the removal of the obsolete materials and situations. But that's what has to happen in order for, to make space for all the new versions, the new Mark II to be downloaded uh, so we can make space. So having the awareness is a tremendous advantage. Having an awareness that you may be deeply, deeply bonded to, uh, let's say, the past or your current status, uh, that could be uh, an obstruction. It could make it very hard for you. But at least you're aware of it with the devil card here so that you're not fooling yourself. You're not going to fight too hard because you already know. Let's just put it this way. You already know when you go to the dentist that things are going to hurt a little bit to some degree. Even after they numb you up, you still are going to get hurt and feel hurt in some way. So it's a good idea to know that going in and just like be very, very brave and very, very courageous because that's why everybody's clapping and applauding and encouraging you because they know, everyone else knows about you, Taurus, and that you can be pretty stubborn and you want to hold on and that it might be a bumpy ride for you. So they're just trying to encourage you to say, don't worry, we understand your pain. We understand how you want to hold on tightly to what you've got already, but it's okay. You're going to be fine. So what does this bring to you as you start going through the box, the black box of the eclipses and the refurbishment? See, <laughs> it's okay, Taurus. What actually happens is they rip open everything that's all cluttered up by, you know, like psychic lint and spiritual debris and really ancient redundant patterns of being. And it exposes the heart. It exposes the heart energy, which is what this whole reading is about in the first place. Remember when we started? And what's going to happen is it's going to be revealed to you even while you're inside the black box, even as you go through the month of August, that you're just loaded. You're absolutely loaded. It was just covered up by a lot of, you know, history. Let's just call it history or the past or your previous existence, which involved deep elements of bondage to situations and people that may be obsolete. And so that's just how it is. But look what happens as you become the new Taurus Mark II. And they start sparkalizing you and, you know, removing all the stuff that was collected there, like calcified or fossilized. And they chip all that away. Look what happens. You get this Queen of Cups energy where it's almost like Taurus, you get to become aware of like how much love energy you really do have. Okay, and it's huge. You have such a big heart, Taurus. So the question now becomes, now that all this true value is being exposed, in other words, all the seven pentacles here of your true awesome wealth is fully exposed and extracted, and all the um, obstructing elements are cleaned and washed away, you get left with pure buckets of love, buckets of love energy to the point where I don't know what to do with it all. What am I supposed to do with all this? So the Queen of Cups is very, very generous and very, very loving. And she will figure it out. She will find a way. And that will be your new journey, Taurus, to radiate the love energy like you've never known before. Literally be a beacon of love energy, a lighthouse of love. You're going to be spreading love 
like never before, in ways that you've never known before or understood before. It's absolutely beautiful, Taurus. So again, let's let's give a hand to Taurus. Well done, everybody. Well done. We're all saying, well done, Taurus. Everything is just and exactly how it should be. And don't worry about this, okay? So what about your hopes? In other words, let's say deep down, even in your tender, most gentle self, um, and knowing that you might have to go through this like traumatic, you know, severing of the bonds. Let's say you just deep down in your soul knew that. You already knew you were on this journey, and you know you're getting support from the heavens above, and you're trusting that this is exactly how it should be. Deep down, because you're a human being, you have hopes and fears like everybody. So what are you hoping for um, as this comes out, like as the Taurus Mark II and leaving Taurus Mark I behind? Uh, so, And also, what happens if it doesn't work out? Okay, that's... We're not going to tune into that. That's the energy of fear. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, Taurus. It's what your hope. <laughs> so, Taurus, do you see the progression here? It's just like, it's almost like the truth is being exposed. Like, we do it here on Terra Illumination quite a lot. It's like one of these little chants that we do. I am loving I am loved. I am loving. I am loved. I am loving. I am loved. Be loving. Be loved. And guess what happens? Kaboom! You get it all. You get the full package deal. It's almost like you are a freaking bucket of love. You're a freaking lighthouse love energy. You're like glowing like so bright that people almost need sunglasses to hang out with you, just to hang out with you. That's how much love is coming to you, um, Taurus, and that's how much love comes out of you. It's like being the ultimate transceiver of love energy, the energy of heaven coming down into you, Taurus, and then radiating out through you into your life and your world around you. It's like you are the ultimate transceiver of the energy of heaven, the healing power of love. Because this is the ultimate love energy, and it trumps anything and everything. It's like the universal medicine. It's like WD-40 for everything, okay? So, wow. So, obviously, you would be scared. Like, if you don't get this, if this doesn't work out, that could be terrifying. But we're not going to go there, because it's going to happen. This is going to happen anyway, and there's no way out of it. And everyone else knows it. You might not know it as Taurus Mark 1, but as Taurus Mark 2, you're going to know it. <laughs> Coming out September, October, November, and on into 2018. It's really, really, this is when it's going to really start to shine. Probably later in 2018. Okay? And we're all here to support you because, wow, wow. It's almost like the rest of us wish we could have that and be that. So where does this lead you? Where does this lead you? <gasps> Oh, God, maybe you get to share this. <laughs> Taurus, uh, maybe you get to share this with a deep soulmate, someone that you love very, very dearly. Maybe someone from a past life. Maybe someone from a future life. Maybe someone from an alternate present timeline here today on this earth, this life right now. But it's very, very beautiful. There's an awful lot of love here, Taurus. It's almost like... <laughs> what am I going to do with all this? And it's um, it's like it's like it's like what you deserve anyway, Taurus. So uh, I'm very happy for you in this reading, and probably everyone else is going to be a little bit jealous, frankly, because I think everyone would love this. They would just love to be this and do this. I mean, not everybody, may, but a lot of people would love to have this much love in their lives. Be this, be this loving, because what happens here with this soulmate energy, it's simply a reflection of you. So you might be having an opportunity and a chance to tune in and live the life of big love with someone who loves you and appreciates you, value, values you to this extent. So it's like being a living example, a living specimen of the law of attraction about be loving, be loved. Be loving, be loved. 
be love. <laughs> it's just be love. I never had that one before. I never did that before. So um, I think I'm going to shut up now before I spoil this. It's too lovely. No matter about this, don't worry about this, okay? Okay, everyone's going through their own version of the same thing. We're all stuck and attached to our sense of identity right now. And the eclipses are going to be a big shakeup for everybody, not just you, Taurus. So don't worry. And we're just all boosting you to get through, okay? Wow. I think everyone has a, has a right to be jealous of you, Taurus, right now. And that's okay. We don't know where any of this is going to go in terms of details or facts, but it's beautiful, beautiful energy, Taurus. Congratulations on becoming soon the two, th th excuse me, Taurus Mark II coming out of this. Okay, okay, just to close this up, going through the black box, going through the eclipses might be where you're feeling some of this, the tensions of this, but you know. You can handle it, okay? You can handle it because you've got a tremendous amount of support, okay? And you already know deep down that it's going to be freaking awesome to be Taurus Mark II, all right? I hope this works for you. I hope you understand this. Please read for your sun, moon, and rising. And thank you so much for visiting Terra Illumination. I love doing this for you. Have a wonderful August. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.